All right, and we're back. Mimosas and masterpieces. <laughs> Hi guys, so we'll just let everybody check in, kind of get started while you're coming on. Let us know where you're painting from. It's free virtual lighthouse paint night tonight. Yes. What are you drinking? Everybody start checking in and let us know where you're from. Nadine. Hi, Nadine. Deanne Davis is back. Cinder Mizrobian is back. Yes. Anna Marie has come in. Great. I think those are our regulars. <laughs> D. Costa Crisada. Mary Kay Bird from Hillsboro. Hi, Mary Kay. There we go. We got somebody that's a neighbor. Deanne Davis from Iron River, Michigan. Welcome back. Everybody. Sandy Mountney from Bridgewater. Tanya Fusco. Hey, Tanya. Yeah, we're going to be here all week, everybody. We'll be here tomorrow. We'll be here tomorrow Saturday. We're going to be there Sunday. Yep. Stephanie Jean from Pennsylvania. Hey, Stephanie. Let me make sure I didn't forget anybody here. <laughs> right. D. Costa Quezada is from Rhode Island. Welcome. Caitlin Quinones is from Hillsboro. Awesome. Awesome, all right. I'll speak to our neighbors. Oh, here we are. We got our Canadians. Canadians <laughs> coming in the house. Amanda Massey McCloy. Hi, Amanda. We love the Canadians. They come in from all over. <laughs> oh, come on now. Right, we got Nadine, I said from, oh, Nick from Bridgewater. I'm sorry, yep. Nick from Bridgewater, <laughs> not Nadine. Maha Bozik. We've got Kelly Wolf Etter from Middlesex. Welcome. Uh, her and her three girls. Aw, yay. Tammy Blunt Drews from Beachwood, New Jersey. Tammy yay. and Julia. Welcome back, guys. Eileen Pace from Virginia. Oh, okay. Nancy, Nancy Barker is here. Yay, she made it on the live. <laughs> I was coaching her through it this afternoon. Go to the event. Go to going. Go to the discussion. <laughs> Katie Snyderhand from Ontario, Canada. Yay. <laughs> Missy Dietrich Bolin from Hillsboro. Good. We got our, our neighbors are in here. Okay, and we'll, uh, Lisa Warren Beckstead. Lisa again from Canada. <laughs> We've got uh, Deborah A. Van Pelt from Delaware. Mel's mom. That's right. Oh, hi, Mel's mom. Awesome. All right. <laughs> now, let's see if I can say this one. <laughs> Margarita. Ioshifakis. Best. <laughs> Ioshifakis. Okay. Yes, uh, from Bridgewater. Okay. I think I got it right. <laughs> if I did it wrong, please forgive me. Just let me know. <laughs> Mark loves trying to pronounce everybody's name. Like, look yeah. at this one, Aga Slabinski from Hillsboro. Right. I think I got that one right. We got our Hillsboro friends in the house. All right. Yes. The audio is very low. Turn up your audio as much as you can on your end. Yes. Sorry. Alexander in Hillsboro. Wow, Kaylee is here. Kaylee Corvo. That's my girl. Just got the kids in bed. Yay. Got and she's wine. in Canada, that's right. She's in Canada. You got your wine? Or you got a peach, peach, what was it, a peach cooler last night? We've got <laughs> Jen Porbanski Biddle from West Virginia. Welcome. We've got, okay, here's another one. Kathy, I saw uh, Kathy Pogorzelich from Hamilton, Ontario. Pogorzelich, I think it, uh, or, or is Pogorzelich. Then we've got Janice Gibriano, Ben Givenga. Ben Yeah, Ben Givenga. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Can't get on iPad, but got on the phone. Yes, yeah, Janice Ben Givenga is in Boundbrook. iPads just are terrible. That is Lindsay's mom, I believe. Oh, oh okay. Mom, Michelle Mika from Flemington, New Jersey. Hi, Michelle and Kelly. Uh, Kelly says she got um uh, strawberry juice right now. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Aiden thought that sounded good. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> I'm up here on the stairs, Aiden. 
What happened to you? What happened to you? You fell? I fell because of the dumb owl. <laughs> oh, that owl's not dumb. That owl does protective services. <laughs> no, we have to move it because that's why I tripped back on because I can't see. Y'all move the owl? Not yet. <laughs> you got you can't move the owl. That's where that's where the rodents run around. They, they get no, scared of the owl. We can put it outside the spa, but we can still screw what about you screw it outside? I screwed it in there. It's hard to get it out. Oh my goodness. We can unscrew it. So someone took a little dive outside of the spa today. Oh and he missed the step and got the owl. <laughs> oh, that's and what then, happened. You the gotta be cool. careful around there. <laughs> Right, okay, we got Wasinda Catalano from Thank York, that. Pennsylvania. First timer in the house. Yay, welcome to our first mm -hmm. timer. We're glad you're joining us. Yes, we always welcome first timers. This is a wonderful time to get together and uh, just release, you know, all of that stress and it anxieties. And just relax. Just focus and on something else other than something positive. Else going on right now. Yeah, something to have fun. Just have some fun for a moment. Yeah. Uh, Samantha Brewer. Bruder, I'm sorry, Samantha Bruder. So excited to do this one. I told my daughter that we'll do this one tomorrow during the day. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. We'll save the video. Always. We'll post it in the event. So all you have to do is go back to all of our past events, whatever one it is that you want to see. The video is posted in the discussion. So you can go back to any of them. So all of the ones, you, that the very first one that we did with the... The lovebirds, we did, I did a simultaneous single one and a mom and me one. Right. So you can go back to those. You can go back to the mom and me owls, whatever ones we've done. You yeah, you just pick any one and you just, and yeah. we still want you to send, if, even if you do something later, later on, we love want to see the, the pictures. pictures coming in later where you go, oh, look, I did the, I did the lovebirds. And I'm like, oh, that was weeks ago, but that's so cool. Yeah, we have so such a massive, here. now we just have such a massive uh, cool. a, what do we call it? A, a folder or album of pictures from all of the different things we've done. Um, and that's the best part of the whole thing is seeing everybody's pictures with their smiles. As I get them, I try and add them to the albums that they belong to, even if they come in later. Yeah. So. Uh, we got Barbara A. McNichol from Somerset with Hi, Kate. Barbara. Barbara and Kate. Uh, oh. Nicole Girardi. Connor from Massachusetts is here. First time and can't wait. Aww, Thank you. Another first time. Welcome. Timer. Good. Yeah, just uh, for you first timers, uh, we want to be here all week. We got a real busy week this week. We're <laughs> we're here tomorrow. We're here Saturday. Uh, we got something on Sunday, and we just added a few more new a uh, few yeah. more new dates. So we'll go over all the upcoming events while you guys are painting, and I, since I'm quick, we'll go over some of the upcoming events during those times, and then finish it off at the end for you. So, but everything's on the page. Everything's listed. And as we go through this, if there's something that pops into mind that you can think of that you'd like to paint, send us some ideas. I'm, I'm always inspired to take other people's ideas that they want to see something and help you make a memory. So send us those. We, did, we got a couple of requests last night. We put the, two of those up today. So we'll keep going. We're going to be in here for a while, I think, still. So we're going to keep going. The, the toughest part about this is you getting your supplies. So that's the most important part. Yeah. Order your supplies. Order in bulk. Order a five pack or a ten pack of canvas if you enjoy doing this. You'll continue to come with us, watch us, and we'll continue to do them. So, so I guess we think we're good. Yeah, we're really good. We, okay. We're up to 60 people, so okay. I think everybody's ready to start painting. My Thursday night crowd. You guys are always on, man. I love it. <laughs> yeah, Thursday night. Thursday night. Just Jesus before the weekend good. begins. Yeah. So hello everybody, if you don't know me already, I'm Jennifer, Mimosas and Masterpieces, and Mark is our MC computer guy. Director. <laughs> Director. <laughs> the one that will tell me to keep raising my voice, so I'm sorry, I am not a good enunciator, shouter, I'm a soft talker, because I want to soothe you and let you enjoy this, but if, I, if you can't hear me, even after you've turned up your volume, just remind me, I will speak up, I'm sorry. Yeah, and um, keep in mind also that... um. We'll go slowly, and we will repeat some of the steps. Yes. So if you get behind, don't worry. Uh, we, we, we already have that in, in mind, that we're going to go slowly and repeat some of the steps so that you don't, uh, you know, you don't, you don't get left behind. Yep. So in between the steps, we'll ask you, you know, when we're all ready to kind of move on, send us a like, a love, so that we know that we're all ready to kind of move on. I don't want to let you 
that they're too long, but I don't want to rush. Um, so we're out of South Brook, New Jersey, for any of our <laughs> local friends. Uh, we knew normally would go out and do this in person, but right now with the way things are, we're doing it live this way. Since I can't get that final picture of everybody's painting together, we do really want you to send in pictures of you and your paintings so we can put a little photo montage together or put a photo album together of everybody's paintings from around the U.S. and Canada. Um, we love getting those. That's my favorite part. And I don't care what hour of night it is. If I'm up, I'm answering you. <laughs> so we appreciate that. Good. But we got people still checking in. We got Elena Trot from Lake Hopatcon. Like Hopatcon. Hopatcon, okay. I used to live in Phillipsburg, so I got that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now now I was laughing because um, uh -oh. Lindsay said, the boys have spotted the Ninjago. Oh, good. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you look at the screen, when you see you on, when you see you on the screen, it's the like Ninjago's right, right in the middle here. of the painting. He's so, like, he's got that look on his face <laughs> like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Yes, we'll be doing several paintings. We're trying to cater to everybody. We have all different likes. We have one coming up for dancers, one coming up for the boys, for the, um, I'll call it the block person, just in case. <coughs> trademark people watching me, I don't know. Uh, we have, uh, we had a gnome the other night. We have beach paintings and flowers. So I'm trying to get everybody. <laughs> We'll get there. So if there's something that you could think of that you haven't seen us do yet, send us a message, post it on here. Hey, Can Angel. Keep it in mind. Angel Abrams from Bayonne is here. Hi, Angel. Welcome back. Mary Kate Bird says, my son is so excited for the Ninjago. <laughs> awesome. I'm so glad. We had, and, and it all started because a little boy named Wesley, who is six, asked if I could do a block person. <laughs> Or a ninja. Yeah. So I kind of put them together, and he was just ecstatic over it. The Ninjago. <laughs> I didn't know that's like what it was called. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, you know. Like a little Lego man. It, it is. That is yeah. what it is. That's what, it's like, I but guess we can't start, say the, we can't say the name. To, yeah, use trademark kind of things. We don't need to get in trouble. We don't have anything to give anybody if we do get sued, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, so lots like of supplies, but... Pool in the <laughs> yeah, the, the $50 pool in the backyard. <laughs> Thanks for telling them how much it was. <laughs> well, yes. All right, so let's get started. Let's go over all your supplies that you'll need for tonight. So I have my 16 by 20 canvas on an easel. You don't need an easel, it just makes things a little bit easier. I have two plates, one will be for our paint and one will be for mixing, if you don't feel like mixing on your paint palette. I have a cup of water to rinse my brushes. I don't have paper towels. Can you grab me a roll of paper towels and throw it over? Please. Please. I'll keep them if I need them. That's a good idea. You shouldn't, well now everybody knows what you don't have. All right, so we got Nicole Lafay <laughs> from Canada, from Ontario. Welcome, Becky Lombardo. I'm Chloe. Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe, I think. Chloe. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we, okay, our 60 by 20 canvas on easel. Our plates for our paints. Uh, we have a, wa a brush, a cup with water to rinse our brushes. Okay. I'm using two different brushes tonight. One is a flat brush, about three quarters to an inch, whatever flat brush you have will work. And then I'm using a smaller brush for our details, a small round brush. Keep in mind the smaller this brush, the finer this brush, the thinner these lines will get for your details. Okay. Um, if you have two different sizes, you can swap in between depending on what we're doing and what you feel comfortable using. So our paints for tonight, we are going to need, so we're going to do red, a little bit of red. Thank you, buddy. A little bit of a little bit of red. A little bit of red. <laughs> yeah, very little really. Maybe a quarter sized amount of that. Thanks, buddy. You can just pull. So you don't have to use a lot of paint when you you're don't. starting your painting. You can, you just always, do a little, you can always add more when you need it. You can always add more, you can't put it back. So Yeah, so be conservative with it. There you go. Thanks, bud. About the 
appreciate it. So I'm on color color. Okay. Um, white. So this will probably need the most of. <laughs> it's about quarter of the clogs. Oh. It's clogged. I'll send my some more. Well, how much white do you need? Yeah. You want to try and unclog? You might need a little bit more than that, maybe a 50 cent piece sized amount of that. We're going to need a little tiny bit of black. Okay. For our outlines. Good. I'll go. I'm going to go upstairs. And unclog it for me. Thank yep. you. Be All back. Right. We're going to need blue. And I'll come and put it on. So far, that's just four. Yep, Red, so black. Yep. Yep, yep. speak a little louder. For all, almost all of our paintings, it's going to be your red, blue, yellow, all of your um, primary colors. Okay, so as long as they have the primary colors, they'll be good if they can what? stock up on that. Yep. Red, blue, yellow, white, black, and a little bit of brown. I don't remember if I put brown listed on this or not. Okay. If you don't have brown, it's okay. We can make it just kind of an orange color. So I don't, I don't even think you need brown. We can do it without brown. Um, so that's really it. Blue, yellow, red, white, and black. That's it. Okay. So get those on your plate. And to start, we're going to use our flat brush to start. The big Three. one? Yep. So before you use the brush, you always want to rinse and dry it good. You get any of that extra paint that might be stuck in there out, kind of soften up your bristles. <clears throat> so we're going to work from the top down. So we're going to start with our sky. And then don't worry where you're going to put your lighthouse right now. Even if you want to move it over, we're going to paint the whole sky and you're going to paint the lighthouse over your sky. Okay. So. We're gonna start with, so we need this kind of purple color. So purple is just a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow, and you're gonna mix. Purple, that's not how you make purple. Yes, it is. A little bit of blue, a little bit of red. Yes, you said yellow. Did I? Yes, yes, you did. Oh my gosh. That's why I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Little blue, little red. Hope you're watching. Purple is my favorite color. A little bit of blue and a little, a little bit of red. A little blue, a little red for this purple <laughs> color. And we need to lighten it up a little bit, so I'm going to take some of the white and mix that white on there. Just a little bit of the white. Yeah, you kind of want like a lavender color, so until you're happy there with it. So it's just a lavender color. My paint's going to run off my plate. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. It's okay. I think I'm okay for right now. I think. I'm so we're going to take this color, this purple color, from the top down about two inches. We're just using horizontal brush strokes right across the painting, using the wide end of your brush, not the skinny end. Okay. Wide end of our brush, you're just wiping it right across the canvas. Grab the top and the edges of your canvas as you go. Again, we want to go down about two, three inches here. Now you took red and blue. Red? And, and you made the, you made the shade of purple that yeah. you wanted and you use the white to, to lighten it right and now you're painting the top part yeah. of your canvas with that color correct the colors Nicole needs to know the colors that you need to, that she needs to mix it is red, red and blue and white and a little white <clears throat> you probably need more white than oh, okay to lighten it blue. yeah till it gets the shade of the color that you like yeah you want like a lavender color okay so if you have to mix a little bit more, I have to mix a little bit more. Again, we just want to horizontal brush strokes across the painting. And how far down are you going? About two to three inches. I'm probably taking about three inches down. Okay. It's going to look like a nice smooth sky. No clouds in sight. No storms like this crazy weather we're having right now. Yep, we're having some crazy weather right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're 
rinse and dry that brush when you're done. <clears throat> Now you're going to repeat these steps so that, you know, once you get done with your portion that you're starting, you know, that you're starting with, then you're going to repeat the steps for people who are not, uh, you know, not keeping up with us or, or <laughs> lagging behind. Yes. Okay. So again, for your purple, it's a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, and a little white. So you get a, like a lavender color, <laughs> a light purple. You got to mix it all up. Yep. That's how our bird is doing. Okay, we're going to brush that in horizontal brush strokes across your canvas, in straight lines across your canvas, mm -hmm. about two to three inches down. Okay. And then you're going to rinse and dry your brush. All right. And you're ready for the next step now. Right. And now I'm going to take a little bit of blue, just a little bit of white to lighten that up a little bit. We'll probably add more white to it as we get it on here, but... For now, just a little blue, a little white. Now I'm gonna overlap about one inch or a brush width over the purple that we started with. Okay. So the bottom of the purple, I'm overlapping about one brush width. Okay. And then I want you to blend this up into the purple. Oh, so okay. Lightly blending up into the purple. Back and forth strokes. So again, horizontal brush strokes. You're gonna blend up. You might bring some of that purple down into the blue. The blue is gonna go go up into the purple color. Okay, I see it. Grab those edges when you can. Always paint the edges. You want it looking finished. Yes. It's always nice to paint the edges. Otherwise, when you get to when you see a canvas that doesn't have a finished edge, mm -hmm. my easel always kind of blocks the top. <coughs> okay. It kind of like looks a little unfinished. <clears throat> All right. So after you have that blue and you kind of blended it up into the purple, mm -hmm. we're gonna go to white. Same brush. I didn't rinse and dry. We're just gonna go to white. That's fine. Right underneath our blue. We're gonna take this down another two or three inches. Maybe two inches. We'll get to yellow. We wanna lighten this up good. And that was white? So just taking white. So all the rest of the blue is kind of coming off of my brush. Okay. You wanna blend that white up into your blue. Taking a little bit of white at a time, blending it up into your blue. And again, just horizontal brush strokes right across your painting. If you're getting those like little stops of your brush marks, mm -hmm. just try and go all the way across, all the way across. And then I'm gonna rinse and dry after that color. Okay, after white. Yep. Get the rest of the blue off of your brush. And then we'll rinse and dry good. Yeah, I can tell everybody's painting right now. <laughs> so we did purple, which was a little red, a little blue, and a little white. Right. Make a lavender color. And that was the top. Take that down about two to three inches. Rinse and dry, and then we go to blue and a little white. Right. You're going to overlap about a brush stroke on top of your purple. Just almost like an inch. And then blend it up into your purple. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to go right to white and blend down. We're not rinsing and drying with that blue and white brush. We're just taking that white down. And we should be down now about... Maybe five to six inches on our canvas. Okay. okay. Uh, question, Jody yes. Darian Golden says, what do you do with all your paintings? Hmm. You have Would been you like starting some? to amass. You've been they starting are. to amass them. <laughs> Would you like some? So usually when we do, when we have um, public events, mm -hmm. we'll usually have them on display. 
a gift card or a gift certificate for like when we do tricky trays or um, basket raffles or whatever around here, I usually give them away. Because <laughs> yes, I probably have, you know, now I have three VW cars that I painted. Um, there's probably six or seven beach ones with flip flops. So yeah, we have a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, that's because we haven't had any live events. We you know, haven't, like, I haven't so been I, traveling anywhere. And then I also try to, every once in a while, I, I think I did one last year, we'll probably do one this year. We'll probably do kind of like a, a, a paint auction, like an art auction, where really only my kids, where we'll probably like auction off whether it's $10 a painting and then we'll just donate the money to whatever organization or charity. Right. So we did that last year for the Pay It Forward event. <laughs> you could donate to nursing homes. That's what somebody's saying here. We, uh, so last night we did the VW thing to do the paint, the books. Um, the oh, that's right, that's books. right, that's right. And those are going to nursing homes and assisted living. Um, do I have that? Yep, there it is. Ooh. So if anybody wasn't with us last night, so we are, um, we partnered with Usborne Books and More to get um, people to donate or sponsor magic painting books. And all they are is kind of like black and white pages. But when you add water, it comes with a paintbrush. When you add water to your paintbrush, there's actually like ink in in the um, in the black somehow that it come the color comes out of it. So there, it's like a no mess painting book. It's so neat. So it's like watercolor in the black ink. So so neat. So we're trying to get these into all of the assisted living communities, nursing homes. If you don't have a um, a rep, I can put you in touch with one. We have several that we are partnered with. Yes. But, um, but yeah, so message us if you'd like to help with that. They're, the books are $10 a piece, and I'm, I'm keeping that one for myself. But um, they're great for kids, too. What an awesome, like, a birthday gift to send, and it's cheap to mail because it's flat and <laughs> easy. <laughs> but, um, but yes. So, okay, let's move on to our next step. So we rinse and dry after that blue and white. Yes. And now we're going to go to yellow and white. So I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow. With a little bit of white just to get a lighter yellow color again i'm doing this all on one plate but you can use another plate if you don't feel to mix to mix the paint right yep some people don't like to mix on the same plate as yeah paint. it's driving me nuts i'm sitting there going why are you doing that you got all the paint all over the place <laughs> sorry <laughs> so we're gonna go underneath we're not gonna overlap much yet no so a brush width underneath first where you ended with that white and light blue color. The brush width, grab your edges. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna blend up into that lighter color. So you're blending up. You're gonna kind of get a light green color in some areas. Okay. Which is fine. If it seems like that blue or that white has dried, yeah. You can either grab a little touch of water, or I'm going to grab a little bit more white and kind of go over those areas that seem a little dry or tacky now. A little bit of white at a time. And that helps blend the two colors together. Okay. Right to left strokes, horizontal, all the way across. I'm going to stay with that light yellow color. I'm gonna take that down so I'm about halfway down my canvas. So all the way across, you're gonna have a good four inches of yellow. Your yellow here. Okay. Right to left strokes. If you need to mix more, it's just a little yellow, a little white. All the way across. If it seems like it's too dark for you, just grab a little bit of white and blend it in with white and it'll lighten it up for you. You just want all those little crevices of the canvas yeah. filled in. So if you can see some white areas where your canvas isn't filled in, just grab a little bit more paint or you can always grab a little touch of water 
Now, Becky Lombardo says, did you put green in between the blue and yellow, or is that just the blue nope. blended out? Correct. So as I did my first stroke of, of yellow across here, yes. and as I blended it up into the blue, yes. it turned that light green color. Okay. So you didn't have to add any green. And it's okay for the green to be there? Yep. Okay. If you don't like that green color, you can always go back over it with more white. But you're going to still, somehow, you'll still probably see some shades of green because of that transition from that blue to yellow. Okay. Just, just how it goes. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get like a harsh blue-yellow line. And that doesn't really look natural either. Now, Cara A. Corman Localio says, <laughs> Hi, Cara. Grandkids are sleeping over. I'll oh. have to paint later or tomorrow. Okay. That's not a problem. Nope. You just um check the video that we'll be leaving after we do this event, and you can paint it tomorrow at any time yep. that you like. All you have you to do it. is click on the event. Cara and, um, does lots of our painting, so. Right, so she'll be fine. Yeah. She can paint tomorrow when you got That's the time. Fine. Yep. That's awesome that your grandkids are over, though. Yeah, they're sleeping over tonight. That's cool. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> All right. So once we have our yellow in there, yeah. I want to do a little bit of orange so that it's kind of like, I don't want a lot of harsh orange, so I'm going to use that light yellow color that I have already. I'm going to grab just a tiny bit of red at a time. Tiny, tiny bit on the corner of my brush okay. and mix it in there. Sandy Mountain, he says, I got the time and the wine. Good girl. <laughs> <Take a sip. laughs> so with this orange color, I want to blend some of that into this yellow to kind of break up that yellow a little bit. And it doesn't have to be across the whole thing. Just in a couple areas to sort of break up that yellow a little bit. Again, that was that light yellow color that we had already. Right. And I added just a touch of red and mixed, and it turned into that orange color. Okay. <laughs> Elena Trot says, I think it's awesome that you guys do this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for coming yeah. and joining us. We love doing it. I love doing this. Normally, we're so. getting in a, we're getting, we're putting in a hundred easels and <laughs> Canvases in the tr in the back of our truck, and we're driving it somewhere. So this is nice, though. I we're setting it all up and putting <laughs> cups of water out, and depending on how many people. And yeah. So this has been a lot of fun, just, just being able to talk to somebody and and paint with somebody in in uh, Washington, Virginia, uh, Pennsylvania, awesome. you know, all over Canada. You know, it's just fun. It's not really, of course, profitable to do this. <laughs> we just paint for tips. They're always accepted and appreciated. But, um, but yes, when we go out, it's a lot more physical work where we're lugging and unloading and setting up every single station. And that could range anywhere from 10 people to we've done 96 people. So it's, it's so neat. It's such a different um, perspective of <coughs> doing this virtually. Mm -hmm. I don't have an audience, like I don't, I'm not having a physical, you know, interaction, so I don't see what you're seeing, I don't see your screen, I don't see your, your painting until the very end, and I can't give feedback unless you tell me, I need this, <laughs> so tell me, it's okay, you know, if you need help with doing something while we're going, just let us know, and I'll help you walk through it, last night we had somebody that didn't have white paint, so it was kind of, we were kind of, guiding her to maybe use it like watercolors, so I don't know how her painting turned out. And then last night we had somebody that digitally painted. Did you wow, see that no, I didn't see that Yeah, one. she had like, um, uh, I don't know, like an art program that she was like digital paintbrush. Whoa. And she did the, the VW car, and oh, that wow. looked really cool too. So neat. Sandy says it's very therapeutic. It is. <laughs> especially during this time. It is, it is. Becky Lombardo says, how do you blend the orange so close to the blue without it turning brown? Really lightly. So I just did a little bit. If it seemed like it turned brown for you, you're going to let let that dry. And uh -huh. then you can go back over it a little bit later with, um, if, you, if let's say this is a brown area, if this turned brown for you, 
you can go let it dry and we'll go back over it later with a little white and a little blue and blend back up and we'll okay. kind of can cover that up. <clears throat> All right, so we have some of our orange in there. So I still have that brush that I was using with the orange. I still want to go a little bit more, a little down further with the orange. So underneath our yellow, we're going to do the same thing all the way across. That's your yellow? This is that orange color. <laughs> orange color, and then again, we want to blend up a little bit into that yellow. Blend up into the yellow. Right to left strokes. So we're using up all the rest of that orange we got here. Now, um, Kathy Pogorzelich <laughs> says, um, I can't wait to share this painting with my grade three students tomorrow. Oh, yay. So, any, like, really, any of the students, if you're a teacher, share this with your families. We love having kids paint with us. We did the owls the other night, and it was so great seeing all the different owls because you can almost see their personalities sometimes come out in the things that they paint. I love doing that. We're doing a mommy and me coming up. That's we right. We have one for dancers. We have the one, the, the walk person. The, the ninja. <laughs> the ninja guy. Um, I have a horse coming up, uh, which you could turn it into a unicorn. We do have a rainbow with the unicorn. Yeah, the mommy and so, me is the butterfly. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show you all those as we get through the night. Or you can visit the page and just go to the yeah. events and look down at all the upcoming events. Everything has a painting. Everything has a painting that we're going to be doing. <laughs> and it also has the details on what you need to order so that you can have the supplies exactly. when you're ready to do it. All right. So we want to get down to about, let's say, <clears throat> maybe six inches from, from the, the bottom, bottom of our painting, okay? So we want to take the rest of this down. I'm just grabbing white on my brush. Okay. I didn't rinse and dry it, so it's, there's still that yellow orange color on it. All right. So again, we're just going underneath that color and I'm going to blend up into that orange color with the white and then we're going to take it all the way down to that about the six inch mark. If you want more water, if you want more water, you can leave your horizon a little bit higher. Okay. Kaylee Corvo says one word. Yes, honey. Mermaid. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. What's on that paper, Mark? What do I have? Do like all of my upcoming events and then the things that I need to do. And it says mermaid for Katie. Oh, that's right. That's right. Right here. I see it. Dragon for autism. Dragon Cindy. Autism for Cindy. And mermaid for Kaylee. Mermaid for Kaylee. And I just did the uh, the horse for Lynn okay. for her birthday that's coming up in May. Okay. Do we have May birthdays? Where's my May birthday friends? So again, just bringing us way all the way down to that horizon. Yeah, you said give yourself about six inches yep. and that's where the water and sand's gonna be? Yeah, I might have gone a little bit too far down, but that's okay. You can always go over it. Grab those edges as you can, if you remember. Horizontal brush strokes all the way across. That's all you've been doing the whole time, all just going back and forth. Time. And then we're going to rinse and dry that big brush. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's doing pretty good. And I think they're hearing you well. You're talking, talking, keeping up, keeping up that, uh, <laughs> keeping up that level. I'm trying, guys. Kaylee, take a sip. <laughs> uh -huh. We always say, um, even when we have in-person events here, that um, people come here as friends or guests and they, you know, they come here as a guest and they leave as a friend. And I think that holds true to the majority of people that we've come across. When Mark opens the door and answers the door for me, 
he's always hugging everybody that comes in the door, even if we don't know them. Yeah. Um, but everybody leaves here a friend, and I feel like I've made so many friends along the way, even all the way in Canada, Kaylee. <laughs> Um, we do. We love the we love the feedback. We love hearing your stories. We appreciate you know just seeing your pictures. But um, I think you know if anybody could do anything for us, it would be leave us a review and tell us how this has helped. If this has helped you, um, people a lot of times will go to review a page, and I look at reviews when I go to pages, and sometimes I'm like. You never really know what to expect because there, they seem to be all over the board. So we love seeing our news feed and our page filled with love that you guys appreciate what we've done. And if you have constructive criticism, just email it to me and let us know. We we definitely know that we need a mic. It's coming. It's coming. It's we're getting coming. a new It'll camera and everything. On, on May 5th, okay. <laughs> according to Amazon. The camera's coming. The mic is coming. Um, I've slowed my pace down, hopefully enough. Yeah, I've been monitoring yeah. how things have been yeah. working out here. Um, so, yes. After each video. I, we try to improve a little bit each time. Sometimes it takes more money. <laughs> now, Eileen Pace has, or Aileen Pace has uh, one word. Bananas. Bananas? Bananas? Yeah, bananas. Bananas, okay. Please. <laughs> Like Tammy, it. Tammy Blunt Drewis says, uh, Julia's birthday is May 27th. Would like a field of sunflowers and lavender. Sunflower. Can you write down sunflowers? Sunflowers and lavender. I love lavender, by the way. But somebody else asked for sunflowers along the way, too. We have a couple of people that asked for that. And lavender. I am not good at flowers, guys. I will tell you that. We'll figure <laughs> it out. We'll figure it out. So, <laughs> so those are challenges for me sometimes. Right. See, now Eileen said the bananas... From my third grader. Okay. Bananas. Yes. Okay. Well, Cinda Catalano says your pace is great. Okay, good. D. Costa <laughs> Quesada says dragonflies. Dragonflies. Okay. Let me write that down. I love dragonflies, too. We definitely can do that. Yeah, we have okay. a couple of them that might incorporate that, I think. But maybe that's Yeah, very good ideas. All right. So let's get to our water. We're going to do the water next. That's this area. We're going to work on that blue-green color, that aqua, uh -huh. and that is just a scoop of our blue and a scoop of our yellow mixed. Now, as you mix, you're going to get a green color. If it's too green or too yellow looking and you want to add a, add a little bit more blue, you just grab a little bit more blue and add a little more blue to it until you're happy with that water color that you've got. Yeah, now Mary, Mary Kay Bird says, my daughter just requested dolphins. Dolphins. Got a dolphin right there. Can you see it? I can see it, but they can't see it. Oh, oh wow. careful. Oh, you're pulling it off the wall. It's Velcro. Oh, okay. And a little dusty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dolphins, okay. Nadine said, stitch. Oh, my gosh. Write down stitch. Oh, you write down stitch? Before. I know. <laughs> I lose track. Stitch. Are you asked that before? I know. Okay, now, um, uh, Tammy says, do we clean the brush before blue? Before blue. Before we make the blue? Yeah, you can, you're going to rinse and dry that flat brush, and then it's scoop of blue, scoop of yellow, and we're going to mix. And make that green. This green color. So I'm going to come from the, left, from the right side of my painting and come across. We're going to go about halfway. Cross our painting. Okay, halfway. Oh, halfway into the center, right? About the center. And then your shoreline is going to be kind of uneven, so you're going to kind of have like a zigzag type shape there. And there's no right or wrong way for that. Okay. So it's wherever. Wherever you want it to go, you how want you want it. Sure to go. Okay, so I'm going to take this green color. Yeah. And I'm going to go down about halfway. Halfway in that area, maybe two inches, depending on how much area you've got there. Okay. Now you got uh, you got two people here, um, Becky Lombardo mm -hmm. and uh, Katie Snyderhand. Says um, yeah, Harry Potter related, please. Oh my gosh, 
<laughs> you know how much I love Harry Potter? Yes, oh, I God. do. Okay. <laughs> my glasses over there? Should show me my glasses. <laughs> we did, was it last year or was it two years ago now? When we did the Harry Potter we had a, we themed had a event? Harry Potter themed event. Oh my gosh. What a ton of work it was. Where would they see the pictures of those? Where would they see the pictures uh, of that? There should be an album in there. In the Mimosas and Masterpieces page? I think so. There's got to be a Harry Potter, right? Yeah, we You got to look through the pictures in, in Mimosas and Masterpieces to see our Harry Potter event that we did. We had a Harry Potter um, Pong, what was it called? A Quidditch. Quidditch Pong. We made a Quidditch Pong board, and we had a Quidditch Pong tournament. That was so much fun. Um, we had, like, themed shopping places, so Diagon Alley or, um, no, it's escaping my mind. <laughs> so you can shop from all the different vendors and they were all named Harry Potter themed things. We had a we had food a potions person there making potions. It was so much fun. Oh, I got you. What was the buttercream? What was that? We what? had butter beer at the bar. We had That we, was the that was the highlight of the night. Hit. We had mugs, glass mugs that I had everybody engraved for everybody and we had butter beer like Scoop of vanilla ice cream, butterscotch soda. Yeah, you might have to scroll down in the pictures <laughs> in Mimosas and Masterpieces page and you'll find the Harry Potter stuff and you'll see all of that stuff she's describing. So once I get through this green color, yeah. I'm not rinsing and drying. I'm just going to go right to my blue. So I'm just going to take a bit of blue on my brush and we're going to do the same thing like we did up here. We're going to kind of overlap that brush stroke on that green and blend up into the green. Okay. Blend up into the green. Blend up into the green. The blue. That blue color, yep. And then I'm going to keep going back to blue. We're going to take it all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Yeah, Katie Snyderhand says, my gnome had the Deathly Hollows hanging off his hat. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, yeah. see now, see, they... they, they Wow, you got a you got a heck of an audience, okay? <laughs> Lindsay says chocolate frogs. Yes, we had chocolate frogs there too. Should we paint a chocolate frog? Hmm. Yeah, we had chocolate frogs at that event. Is Lindsay on? Lindsay Kimwood? Yes. Okay, yes, chocolate frogs. That's what her son JT. Her son JT was the one that won. Oh, the, oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He won the Quidditch Pong, right? He won part of Quidditch Pong. He won, uh, but he won the free ticket to go at a different event that we were at. Okay. Yes. That yeah, was he fun. was good. Aiden had the, a little cart with uh, treats. That's right. We That's right. We were trying right. to train him to stay. Uh, what were we were trying to train him to stay. What was it that they were saying? Um, Trolley, treats from the trolley. Yes, yes. I was. I, I worked with him, and I worked with him, and he just didn't want to do it. <laughs> All right. All right, we've got our green. We went to our blue. I rinsed and dried that brush. I'm gonna have you take a scoop of white, or not a scoop, but a bit of white on your brush. And we're gonna go all into, we're gonna start with a couple little lines in our ocean. So a few brush strokes in there. Okay, they sort of, they were sort of thick. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to have you blend this in, so... Oh, okay. We're going to blend. Just doing, like, fanning? Yeah. So we're just kind of blending those little white strokes out. Just to lighten it up a little so bit. So they're not pressing down on the canvas. They're just uh, waving on it. Kind of, yeah. You don't have to have a lot of pressure on this. Right. You just want to blend it all in. Right. So we're just going to give some highlights in there. Give it some white caps. Yep. A little bit of highlights in there. And rinse and dry. Okay, now Vera Carvalho. Yeah. Uh, am I late to the painting? Yes, yes. you are. <laughs> but don't worry because we save every video to every event yep. on this page. You'll be able to go back to it when we're done tonight. Yep. And you just go to the event. Tonight is the virtual lighthouse painting. And uh, you just go to that and you'll see the video there. And you can start from the beginning and you can take it anytime you like. So don't worry. Yep. All right. We're going to make our sand color next, okay? So our sand color is, we're gonna go back to that like orangey color, a little bit of yellow. Where did I do that orange color? <laughs> did you change of, it and make it another color? A little bit of yellow. 
probably need more weight because the weight was clogged before, right? Yeah, he unclogged it for you. Or he said he did. Exactly. Are we scared? Okay. A little bit of yellow, tiny bit of red, tiny, tiny bit of red. And this is to make the sand? This is to make your sand color. So we're going to get that orange color again. So you got yellow and red, and you just a tiny bit of red, just and you're making this orangey color. I'm making this orangey color, and I'm going to okay. grab a, a little bit of white in there too, a good scoop of white. You want to really lighten that up. So yellow, good scoop of yellow, tiny bit of red, good scoop of white. Oh, to add to it. Yep. Okay, because um, Margarita's still on the ocean. Okay. And when she gets done with the ocean, and she knows that she's going to have to take the yellow and a little bit of red and then a little bit of white to get to that color sand that you like, like that. Okay. I don't like the color. Like oh, that's how you check in, that's how you check in to see if it's the right shade. <laughs> Just because I didn't want you guys to have to use a brown. Okay. Very good. We're just adding a little bit of red to that, just a little too yellow. That's pretty close. You know, I didn't tell you, Nadine said Wonder Woman related, please. Wonder Woman. I know we have a bunch of people that would love to do that too. Okay. Okay. Write that down. I'm know. writing it down. Uh, I'm not. A We've got Stitch, I'm Sunflowers and Lavender, <laughs> Dragonflies, <laughs> Wonder Woman. All right, so we mix this kind of orange color for the sand, yellow, a little bit of red, and a little white, and we're going to finish off this side. So come across to finish your horizon here, all the way across, grab the edges. Okay. Again, we're going to come across, what the heck, there's like a little fly. Because it thinks that it's out there, that the, the, the sky. Not the real guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna kind of come along here. It doesn't have to be exact because we're gonna cover that up anyway with some uh, white. So for now, we're just brushing this. That's orange, the sand. Orangey sand color. Okay. Yep. Angel says my ocean is looking like the Hudson River. Oh no. Hey, too, hey. too green. If it's too green. You want to add a little bit more blue and probably a little white to it. Okay. And that might help. Orange color, orange color, orange color. Using still that same right to left stroke. Same big brush. Haven't switched that yet. So now you got your sky, your horizon, your sand, your water. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's pretty busy right now. <laughs> now again, we're going to do that same kind of motion with the white. I'm just going to, same brush. I haven't rinsed and dried. Okay. I'm just going to take some white on my brush, kind of throw it in a few patches. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to blend that into the sand color. So it's just gonna lighten it up a little bit. So you have a little bit of highlights in your sand. If there's too much in one area, you can kind of drag it off with your brush and move it to another area on your canvas. It's okay. All right. And then you'll rinse and dry that brush. move to we're gonna switch to the round brush so I mean I have a couple of different sizes of them if you have a few different sizes you'll go with kind of like a medium sized um, brush there's kind of like two to so you can see a difference okay um, and what are you getting ready to do with these so we're gonna switch to this okay slightly bigger brush well before you switch the colors of the sand is what colors again the sand was yellow yellow 
A little bit of red. A little bit of red. And white. And white. Right. That made up your sand. That made up. And your then sand. after you put it, after you put it all, or after you painted it all down there on the canvas, then you put white streaks in it, and yeah. you blended the white streaks into all of it. Right. Okay. Yes, more people are asking for the uh, sand colors. Okay, so we'll slow down a little bit then, let everybody catch up. No, it's just Angel and Susan. Sand colors, please. The Wi-Fi froze for a minute. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so it's the yellow. Yellow. Red. Red. A little bit of red. A little bit of red at a time and white. So as you mix, if it's not quite dark enough, if it's too yellow, you'll add a little bit more red at a time and mix. If it's still too dark, you can keep adding some white until it gets to the, kind of that same Like that color. color that you got right there. Right here, right but here. But then you added, but you added white right. after so you painted I it in there. I added white on it after I painted it. Right, and then you did so, just like you did the water. Just like we did in the water. We put some white patches in there and then blended them in. Okay. And then you'll rinse and dry. All right. How about if I give you like what a couple of upcoming events? And then we can let everybody kind of sort of catch up. So yeah, just give a couple. The rest of the weekend, let's do tomorrow is, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Friday. Oh, Friday. We're doing the Blossoms Painted Forward. Blossoms, okay. So our Blossoms Painted Forward event is was made for our, I belong to the Manville Ladies Auxiliary. Oh, are you talking to the wall? You got to yeah. talk to them. <laughs> belong to the Manville Ladies Auxiliary. We um, have had to cancel all of our fundraising events. So, um, and two of them were our Easter and Mother's Day flower sales. So we painted this. We figured it's kind of in time for Mother's Day. Yep. Um, so any donations or tips that come in, we are sending right to the Ladies Auxiliary for painting this with us tomorrow night. That is at 7 o'clock. Yes. All right. Right here on the Saturday. most of the masterpieces page. We'll be here all weekend. <laughs> Saturday. Is the Jersey Shore. The Jersey Shore. So anybody that knows me knows I don't like the beach. <laughs> I don't like the sand. I like the boardwalk. So we're doing the sky ride for Saturday. This is at also at 7 o'clock. Join us for a little sunset and sky ride. Okay, well, Cinda says, yes. my sand is too orange. How it's, do I fix it? Fix With a little white, right? Try just a little white if it's still looks too orange then add a little bit more yellow it might be too red it might be too much too red. much red in it okay yeah. so try and add white if it's still too orange it might be like pink looking add yellow or white <laughs> depending on how it looks you got to mix it you got to mix it on a plate yeah you kind of have to mix it to tell browns always browns and tans are always the hardest thing to mix Okay. They can always go like really fast one way or another. Um, and Sunday is our Scout Night painting. Right, that's the Moonlight Tree? Nope, Scout Night. The Scout Night is on Sunday? Scouts is on Sunday. Oh, yes, yes, May the 3rd, sorry. So, for anybody that knows a Cub Scout, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Brownies, any of them are also working on their um, crafting or painting badges. So this can be part of that um, fulfillment, that badge fulfillment. So join us on Sunday at noon, right? Noon? Yep, 12 noon. <laughs> Sunday at noon, we'll be painting the, um, the fireflies. So we also grabbed some glow-in-the-dark paint, and there is a picture in the event of just the painting with the glow-in-the-dark showing. Oh. It's kind of cool. So, you know, once it kind of charges up during the day, then at night you have uh, your fireflies glowing. Pretty neat. Yeah, see, Chris and Christy Catalano said, I cheated and used brown and white. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> if you have it, you have it. <laughs> um, and then Friday, we're doing Scouts Night. Right, so the Scouts is what's going to end the weekend for us. Mm -hmm. Well, we actually have a private one on Friday night, or Saturday, Sunday night. Friday Aileen Friday. says, my troop will be painting. Yay. Make yep, sure Lisa. Guys... Lisa Beckstead says, "I love the fireflies." <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be. You don't have to be involved to paint it. I mean, just come on and, and paint. Paint with us, right? Yeah, just yeah. join us. You don't have to be affiliated with anything other than that you want to paint. So paint with us. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go to our rocks. So this is where you'll have to sort of determine where you want your lighthouse. 
So I left mine uh, all the way on the side so that you had lots of room for painting lettering or words if you wanted to paint that. Or if you know somebody with a Cricut or if you have a Cricut and you can cut your lettering out and you want it to be perfect, then you can, you have enough space to do that. If you don't want to letter or anything, you can always move your lighthouse over to more in the center. If you want to do that, we're going to take our rocks then further over. That's all. So I will try and come a little bit further over with mine so that you can see that. So for our rocks, we're going to start with just a gray. And that's just a little bit of white and black mix. Okay. That's usually why I put my white and black together. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> And you just mix just, it until you get it the shade that you like? Yep, so you're going to start with white, a good scoop of white, and a little black at a time. A little black at a time. A little time. black at a time. You want a dark gray color. Tammy says, my Girl Scout troop will be there. Yay. Everybody can get their badges. That's cool. We are so hoping to see, like, each troop or pack send us their group's pictures and collage it with, like, you know, pack. Six, three, three, one, seven. Did, yeah, know, but they won't so. be able to do that until we get out of this. Until they all are done. Yeah. No, no, I mean, if they all, like, if everybody sends in those paintings and tells me. Individually. This pack number. All right, pack, you want to put them all together? Collage them together. Oh, wow, that's cool. I'm sorry, so. Sam says, repeat it, please. Sure. So we're just going to, we're going to work on our rocks. So it's just black and white, little black and little white mixed together. So you get a gray color that you're happy with. Okay, so we're going to start by, I'm going to kind of use the horizon as my guide. Okay. I'm going to go all the way over into this middle area, and I'll probably come over my, uh, my water. Okay. So I'm just going to start with curved lines, little curved lines like these are rocks. Becky says, my sand looks like a Cheeto. <laughs> Too orange, okay. <laughs> so what did she got to do? So go back and you can either, if you've painted it already. Yeah. I mean, mine is kind of orange too. Yeah, it is. It's orange. Or you can go back and go white over it. Right, or put those white, um, those yeah, white, white blocks in it. there and, and paint it in. If you haven't, if you haven't painted it on your canvas yet, you can just keep adding some more white and that will keep lightening it. Or if it's if you've mixed so much, then in a separate spot, just take a scoop of that color that you've mixed and add more white to just that little bit that you've mixed. Right, sometimes, and then paint that in there. Right. Sometimes it's just you're mixing and mixing and it's getting more volume and more volume. So you might want to take a scoop of it, put it on another plate, mix with white. Caitlin says Troop 60125 will be there as Yay. well. Oh, it's going to be an interesting we are day. I'm so excited for this. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting day. So I'm just going to start filling these guys in. And all you did was make those little humps. Yeah, I just made like little U's or little, little know, curves. Little upside down U's. You could bring this up as high as you want it to. Okay. I'm just kind of giving it the idea of the shape and where it goes. So again, you don't have to really define anything until we get to highlights and shadows. We're just going to fill this whole area in, just using that same gray color that I started with. Grab the edges when you can. Bird. They're upstairs with Aiden. I'm sure he's probably started watching the movie by now. Oh. So again, it depends on how high you want your rock wall to be. You can go two layers, three layers, however big you want it. What? Tara Jo just joined in? Hey. Hi, Tara. We miss you. Yes. My cousin from PA who is working on the front lines, the nurse in the ER, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Just be safe and be careful. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I think my 
rock wall tying up. So I'll let you guys kind of get your rocks in there to start. <clears throat> Can you explain that again? You just made curves. Yeah. So we just rinse, rinse. Oh, uh, you you got black. We just mix some black with some white. A See? little, a little black a little with black some white. A little black at a time. Start with a little black at a time. Yes. So you get a gray color. You kind of want like a medium to darker gray color. And then I just kind of started creating like rocks, like little humps. little little curves. Yeah. Little curves. And then I sort of just built it up. You put curves on top of curves. Yep. Just kind of built it up. Until you got it up to the, be that high. Until That's how I, high you want your rocks. Right. So you can just do one layer. You yeah, can commas. Color. Commas. Commas. There you go. Okay. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa Beckstead Lisa, said commas. She's becoming a pro now, see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. We'll get it, let everybody kind of get those on there. I know sometimes... Depending on what you yes, do. Yes, because you have people still working on the sand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tara says, I'm just logging on. Will I be able to rewatch later and do this with Jack? Yes, yes. you will. Yes. You can do all of our all of our events are like that. Yep. It will save the video right to the event so you can go back to the event and replay it. Yep, just play the video over. My Jack Jack. Yeah, they're all getting so big. Mm -hmm. I remember when they was little teen little babies. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll give people some time to catch up. Yeah. Don't worry about anybody. We had a nice turnout. We have a nice turnout tonight. Good. How's Nancy Barker doing? I haven't heard from Nancy. She's busy painting. <laughs> she's painting, right? Yeah, she said she was painting. Yeah, you ain't going to hear from her. She's going to paint. <laughs> Unless there's some kind of problem, and it's just never really a problem, what she's yeah, doing. Yeah. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is create our highlights and our shadows in our rock. So to create the highlights of our rocks, we're just going to grab white paint. So I rinsed and dried that brush. Yeah. I'm going right into white with it. So I'm going to start at the top layer of my rocks. So where you made those little commas, we're just going to go and kind of swipe across the top of each of those commas. Okay. So now you're just putting commas on top of commas. <laughs> yep. Wow, Kaylee is just, Kaylee just says, look, my husband just handed me Dairy Queen. I love ice cream. <laughs> love ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's where you'll define where the next layer of rocks are. If you want big boulders underneath, or you want just another set of rocks, and then another layer of rocks. Okay. So you're just kind of, again... Making Make, little commas. Doing your little commas here. And it may not look right to you when you're looking right at it. Right. Don't let that don't let that scare you. Because you're gonna step away from this. And when you look at it when it's all done, you'll see it. Trust yep. the process. I have to say, trust the process sometimes. Yep. I have to I have to agree. I've watched her do it with so many people now. <laughs> so let everybody get their rocks in and get your white on your rocks. <clears throat> Take a sip. One of my girls taking sips. Poor gentleman taking sips. Okay, I've got one done and a one same. <laughs> so if you're if you're done or you're caught up, then give me a thumbs up or a heart, so, so I can know how many people are still painting, and then we'll continue on. 
I know sometimes it's hard if you're like on an iPad or something to do that, so it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, if there's anything that we might anyway, have to repeat. Right, if there's anything we need to repeat. Yep. Yeah, see, I got some more people saying, yeah, they good. Okay. It's only three, though. <laughs> three out of 70. <clears throat> oh, there's four. <laughs> Five. Maja Bozic. Bozic. Is it Bozic or Bozic? It's Bozic. Uh -huh. Bozic. <laughs> right, so we've got about five or six people done. Seven. We're just waiting a few more minutes. Yeah, there's more. <laughs> oh, wow, I love this name. I didn't see this person check in. Uh -huh. PJ Weed. <laughs> Love that name. Oh my. Stephanie Jean. Hey, Stephanie. Mary Kay Bird. All right. <clears throat> oh, uh, Mindy Wharton says, can you do a German Shepherd painting? Ooh. That would be tough. If you didn't see it already, and I'll send it to you this while we're waiting, so <clears throat> we also work with Wise Animal Rescue. And there's, they've extended it through the weekends. I don't know how far out they've extended it, but they're doing a kind of a paint your pet sort of or, or draw your pet thing where you can submit a picture of your pet. It doesn't have to be a dog. You submit a picture of your pet, you give a $20 donation, and you'll receive from an artist, it could be of any age and any skill level. <laughs> okay. Just a disclaimer. Um, a picture of your pet back in the artist's rendition. So we've uh, we offered or volunteered to be oops, an artist. So we received this picture of Chucky. Right. And then, so I painted him for the person. Uh huh. So you can also. Um, volunteer to be an artist. So you'll just email them and say, you'd like to volunteer to give a, an artist rendition or be an artist for the um, for the event. So, so neat. It's still going on. I have one more to do. I was assigned another one today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then also for Wise Animal Rescue, we're doing a Paint It Forward virtual paint night. Um, that is... <clears throat> That's the rainbow with the unicorn on it that you see posted. All right. And that is, what day is that one? Oh, the rainbow with the unicorn? Yeah, it's Paint It Forward for Wise. Oh, uh, yes, that's Saturday, May 16th at 12 p.m. So you see this painting on the event. That's a Saturday. In the event, the other paintings that are offered or shown are also the rainbow, but it's also with if you've lost a pet. So if you've lost a dog or a cat or a bird, whatever, there's a silhouette of a dog or okay. a cat with the angel wings. So it's to show your pet has crossed the rainbow bridge. Okay. So this is um, this was one that we were supposed to also do, do a live event. Do a live event and it was canceled. Right. So we are trying to offer, kind of give everybody. So we had somebody with that wanted rainbows and unicorns. So we threw that one in there. <laughs> Because that can all be done at the same time, and you guys just change your your animal. Um, and then we're also trying to give back to Wise Animal Rescue too, and help. Um, so any donations that come in that day will all be donated to Wise. Okay. Now Maja says Bojic is like Croatian Kristams. Okay. All right. And uh, Mary Kate Bird says, "Can you do a Boston Terrier painting?" Man, you guys are. Totally yeah, you said, you said, <laughs> give us your ideas. You, and they got a lot of ideas. It's good. Um, I'm sure I can. You know what's difficult is either I, yes, I can paint them. Yes. But for me to teach, you know, something like, I can't teach something like this. Right. Like, like the detail of it. Okay. Um, it just, I mean, this took me three hours by myself with a bottle of wine. <laughs> So for me to teach something like this is difficult. 
And I feel like sometimes I try to, if I do something like an animal, it comes out like childlike because I have to instruct it too. Okay. So I'll see what I can do. But a German Shepherd and a Boston Terrier, huh? Yes. Christina, right. Christine, Christine Trumbull says Game of Thrones theme. Oh, I had one too. Now, Margarita Beth says, I sent my dog and I received an awesome drawing. It was good. Oh, good. Yay. That's so awesome. You'll have to share that in here. I would love to see it. Okay, and then just one more one more suggestion. Yep. Uh, Katie, I mean, Kathy says, would you would like to paint an English tea garden? Can mm -hmm. you get that? Can you do that? I'm garden. pretty sure you can. We can think of something like that. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, two more, two more. <laughs> All right, then you can finish because everybody seems to be ready. Yeah. Just two more. Okay. Uh, Janessa Helene says Cinco de Mayo Chihuahua. <laughs> okay. And then uh, Deanne Davis says, Can you do a hedgehog painting? Aw, I like hedgehogs. <laughs> yeah, and then Cinder, oh, they're they, they on a roll now. Cinder says, How about a troll to go with the gnome? Trolls. I had a. I gotta troll. write that down. Troll we with had the gnome. Troll. Gosh, I have troll, and I see the. Oh no, that's a different one. I did do the the Game of Thrones tree too. Yes. All right. Uh, Becky I'm says cherry back. blossom tree. I have cherry blossoms too. All okay. Right. All right. We can all get. Right, we we'll, can finish now. Everybody's. Everybody's there may ready. May not be enough days for us to do it all. All right. So we have our highlights on our rocks. We're gonna rinse and dry that brush. And now we're going to do the shadows. So I'm just going to have you take a little bit of black at a time. A little on bit a of little black brush. On that, on that smaller brush. And so we did the top part of each rock. Now we want to do the underside of each rock. So it's almost like you're going to do a, a U or a C shape on the left side of each of these rocks. A C shape? It's kind of like a, a backwards comma. Oh, column. okay. Backwards comma. So underneath each of these rocks. Oh, okay. It's just kind of to give a little bit of a shadow on each one. Again, it may not look like it is working. Not yet. Looking at it like this. But when you walk away from it, you'll be able to see that you have highlights and shadows in your rocks. <clears throat> but also... Oh, I'm sorry. What? I was like, I didn't do the, um, the shadow on the, of the rock, but you can do that now. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody seems to be coming along okay. All right. So what I do need to have you do is some shadowing under your rocks. So with that same brush, I just grabbed some of that gray paint that you made your rocks with. Mm -hmm. So really lightly, I'm going to have you kind of... Put some little lines in your sand underneath your rocks. Now, how are you doing that? It's sort of like so, a mini version of the swiping you were doing with the big right, brush? Right. So instead of putting it on a big brush and giving a big swipe of that, right. I want you to put it on the little brush first. And then the way you're doing that in and out or the side by side. Just, yep, little horizontal lines right to left. And then I'm going to rinse and dry. I just want to come down about half an inch to an inch okay. with those little lines. And then if we're going to kind of fan it out with the big brush, though. Okay. <clears throat> Is your big brush was washed out? Your big brush should be rinsed and dried. Okay. Okay. So with the dry, dry brush, should be pretty dry. You're going to kind of go over this really lightly and kind of blend it in under there. Oh, okay, with no paint, just just okay. a dry brush. You're going to use the paint that you've already put on the canvas. Okay. And kind of just fill that in. <clears throat> We're just kind of moving it in the areas that doesn't have paint already. Just so that there's like kind of a shadow in the sand. And you can bring it down a little bit more if you want to. It sort of will fade as you come down. Okay, we'll rinse and dry that guy. We'll do, we'll do our lighthouse next. Okay. All right. We're going to go back to that little brush. 
I'm gonna rinse that little little yeah, brush. Little brush should be rinsed and dried. We're gonna start with a light gray color. So if we have that gray that we used for our rocks, yeah. I'm just gonna add some more white to that so you have an even lighter color. It's almost like you just want a white, but just a touch of gray in there. Okay. Just so you can see it on the canvas. All right. So I'm just mixing that same plate. What are you mixing against Real those light colors? Gray. So I'm just doing a little white or white with a little bit of that gray. We're just making that gray lighter. Okay. So you can use what you've got. Okay, we're gonna do the outline of our lighthouse. So here's where you'll determine where you want it. And we can do kind of top and bottom and kind of connect the dots, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna move my lighthouse now a little bit more into the center of my canvas so you can see that. So you want the bottom of it to be about two inches wide, two, three inches. So I'm gonna start here with one part and I'll come all the way over here with the other part. So that's the bottom of my lighthouse. And then you're gonna to wanna to come up maybe six inches. So kind of use your paintbrush as a guide where you want that to go. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna kind of turn it a little bit. So you want it to, you want it to kind of come up on an angle, but not a real sharp angle. Okay. Okay, so same thing on this side. So we're gonna come up. So if this is straight, we're gonna kind of tilt it in a little bit. And there's our next one. Okay, so you may you made so we have four. four dots. Okay. And then we're going to connect these dots. So I'm using kind of that pencil grip that I call it. Use your pinky to stabilize so that you have a little bit of control. <coughs> and then bring that, bring those down. Again, we're going to connect these dots. Bring it down. Once you kind of have that base, you can sort of determine, do I want to go higher? Do I need to move these out a little bit more? So I'm gonna come up a little bit higher on mine. You can make your lighthouse as high or as tall as you want. Right, and then we're gonna fill this in. So I just have that gray color. I'm going to fill that in. We're going to kind of close off that top area there. Yeah, can you repeat that for Maja? Yep. So I, so you want your base to be about two inches, maybe two, three inches wide. Right. So wherever you want it to start and stop. So I put a dot where I want it to start, a dot where I want it to stop for the width. Yes. And then you want it to come up about, about the height of your paintbrush you're using a smaller paintbrush. Okay. So if I have it straight, this is where it would come. So what I want to do is kind of tilt it just a little so okay. that it's tapered. You don't want it to come right to a point quite yet, which it will when we get the top on there, but we want the base of it. And I did the same thing on this side. So this is where I start. So the bottom is wider than the top. The bottom will be wider than the top. So you'll just kind of tilt your paintbrush a little bit, and that's where you want the next part to be. And now you're and filling you're it in. Connecting those dots, and then you'll fill it in. Now you're putting your lighthouse in the middle. Yep, I moved my lighthouse over. I'm gonna have mine in the center. If you want to keep it off to the side, so you have lettering in there, you can do that. Right. The same. Uh, the same. Same thing applies. You're gonna make the base a uh, wider than the top. Yep. And then you're gonna fill it in. Yep. So, so you can put it anywhere on the rocks you want. Yep. Anywhere in the rocks. Okay. Yes, that cleared everything up. Good. Again, just fill that in with that lighter gray color. Now, if they didn't have the, enough of the gray color, they're just going to take a little, a little bit of black bit and of black put it in the white. And some white, yep. Until they get that shade again and then they can use that.
all of this charm, the little ninja Ninjago is just sitting there between the two <laughs> pictures like, yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting in the wings, baby. One and only messaging you to paint with us. I'm waiting in the wings, <laughs> baby. <laughs> it's like hiding back there too behind two other paintings. Yeah. I'm next Saturday, baby. <laughs> okay, so once we have this shape filled in, we're going to rinse and dry. We're going to go to our red color, okay? Uh, if you want to do a uh, blue for your stripes, you can go to blue, whichever okay. color you want your stripes. All right. I'm going to go to my red, a little bit of red at a time. So we want to make almost um, about one inch dots. So one, 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 one. Okay, so my dots are about one inch apart. One, two, three, four, five dots. Depends on how big their lighthouse is. So okay. So they're about one inch apart. All so right. <laughs> so I'm gonna work from my right side and come down to my left. So you want them sort of instead of just a straight line to be a little bit curved. So you're following the curve of the lighthouse. So it's kind of in a in a. I want to say like a flattened U shape. You want to keep that kind of shape going. Sort of like a candy cane kind of thing? Yep, like candy cane. <laughs> and down here. Right, so you got a little curve on, on all of those lines. Right, so just a little curved. Depends on how, you know, like this one's a little more curved than this one. Okay. okay. And then every other one, you're going to fill in your red. Oh, okay. So wherever you want your red stripes to go, you'll fill in every other stripe. Okay. Is it really raining out there? Yes. Oh, okay. Just hear like so much outside. Yeah. They said it was coming from East Pennsylvania and it was coming mm -hmm. hard. So with my red, I'm using the um, that curved stroke to follow the shape. And that sort of helps. Once I get the edge on there, then I sort of use that shape. And it kind of helps give it the, that illusion of the shape that you want it. Uh -huh. So instead of up and down here, just following that shape. Right to left, left to right. Curved lines. Kind of have that pencil grip so I have a little bit more control over where I'm painting. Do up here. Don't worry if your edges look a little rough. We'll fix that when we outline. Okay. You'll rinse and dry when you've got your red on there. Lines aren't very curvy at all. <clears throat> I promise every time I do a painting, I can do the same one 50 times. It will look different every time I do it. So if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, that's okay. <laughs> we don't want yours to look exactly like ours anyway. This is yours, your piece of art, your masterpiece. <clears throat> going to go to, once we rinse and dry, the highlights on the right side of our lighthouse. Okay, so, but can you can you just go back and explain right. the red again? Yep. Sorry. <laughs> yep, that's okay. So I went and gave a dot about every inch all the way up my lighthouse. And then I kind of did some curved lines down. You can come down a little bit more like this one which I didn't do. <laughs> so you want some curved lines down on your lighthouse, and then you'll fill in every other stripe. Okay. And you're gonna wanna use 
the same kind of curved lines with your brush strokes. And it helps give the illusion of that shape. PJ Wee said our eight-year-old daughter is loving this. Aw, good. <laughs> Okay. What's your name? Uh, they have T Y here. Hi. I think it's thank you. Our eight year old daughter is loving oh, this. Thank you. Or I I, <laughs> I don't know Ty. Maybe. It's possible. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna rinse and dry that brush again. You're gonna go into white. So a little tiny bit of white on my brush at a time. Using that pencil grip, use your pinky for stability to keep your hand stable on the on the canvas. So from the right side, and I'm going to work from the top down to the bottom, we're going to do little tiny strokes, little tiny lines from right or from right to left, <laughs> all the way down. So little tiny right, lines. Yep, little tiny curved lines. Instead of putting one white stroke all the way down. I want you to use little tiny curved lines and it helps again with that shape. Okay, so you're going shape. down with white So yep, I'm and little curved down. lines on your lighthouse. Yep, just little curved lines. Yeah, Nicole LeFay says, slow down please. That's the rain, right? That you hear out there. I guess. Yes, that's the rain. I told you it was going to storm. Wow. So, yep, just little tiny curved lines. They're only about half an inch wide, half an inch, moving into the center. This is the highlight of our lighthouse. <laughs> okay. You're good. Okay. So we're going to go to the shadow of our lighthouse. Mm -hmm. It'll rinse and dry. We're going to go back to black now. We'll rinse and dry, little tiny black at a time, just like we did the white, using that pinky grip, or using that pencil grip, pinky for stability. <laughs> Try not to get your finger in the paint. So we're going to do little curved lines from the left to the right. So again, just little curved areas, little curved lines on the left side of your lighthouse. Little curve stroking into the middle of your lighthouse. So our, our shadow is on the left side. Our highlight's on the right side because our sun is going to be down here. And you're going from left to right, just little, little strokes. Yeah. Light pressure on your brush. See, when we get the new camera, I'll be able to zoom in on your hand <laughs> and they can see yeah. how you're doing those strokes. So now you did the white yeah, on the right the side and the shadow. And then you did the black, the shadow on the left side. feel like you want to lighten either of these just rinse and dry go back over it with a dry brush and it'll kind of lighten it a little bit so dry brush you can kind of take that color off if you want to take a little bit off okay if it's too dark if you, if you feel like it's too dark but it's okay again you're you're not going to be right on top of this looking at it i promise you when you step away from it and you see it you'll be able to you'll see it <laughs> okay <clears throat> 
right? While you've got that black, that little brush in the black, we're gonna start the top here, okay? So I wanna do a curved line around the top, just kind of barely hanging off the edge there. Okay, like Mary, Go ahead. Mary Kate Bird says, can you please slow down? We are still on the white or the light. Okay, still, yes. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> right, so they're doing the white going they're down on the, the light side. Right, so yeah. Okay, and then they got to do the shadow side with the Correct. dark. Yeah. Okay, and then after that, they're going to put that little curve on the top. Yeah, I'll go back over that. Okay. So everybody catch up. So in the meantime, you can take a sip. You got maybe another half an hour. Depends. You know what time it is, right? Time it is. It's time for him to get into bed. He wants you to put him under the covers. <laughs> He's no, coming to see you. No, it's my time. Oh, okay. He's coming to say, yeah, mommy, you're going to put me under the covers. No. You're working on the vacuum? No. After oh. Tommy, you don't have to vacuum in my Oh, you can vacuum tomorrow, honey. You don't have to vacuum today. See, I thought he was going to say, can you come and tuck me in right yeah. now? Because I'm ready to go to bed. Nah. Did you fix the vacuum that you were working on? No, I didn't wash it. Oh, okay. All right. Not done Almost getting there. Still Aiden, got a little bit more to do. Aiden, for anybody that doesn't know, is the vacuum boy. He fixes vacuums, sure, services them. Sure, if you want to. Ow. No, I know. You sold a couple of vacuums already, didn't you? Only one. Only one? Only one. Yeah, Christina didn't come and pick up her slipper that she bought from you. I have to get I that. had to put it on the porch. Yeah. And hopefully my pool doesn't overflow. Ha! Huh. It's not gonna <laughs> overflow. There's not enough water. I'm just hoping the plug for the one side stays in. I think it'll, it'll stay in. It's just right now. It's just a lot of waves. The wind is blowing the water back and waves. forth. <laughs> the water's gonna be all over the place because it's really windy out there. Do you think the pump? It might overflow because it's raining really hard outside. Oh my goodness. Do you think the pump is gonna? No, the pump won't disconnect. The pump's going to keep pumping and pumping. No, and it's going to be more water. Oh, good, good. That's good because it's going to be filled <laughs> up with water. But there's no clamps on it. So it may leak. I'll have to check it out tomorrow. Hopefully it does. If it does leak, it's okay. It won't leak. What if we do a couple more upcoming events? What do we got? We got through this weekend. Um, I thought we did all the events. No, we did scout. We got up to scout painting, and then the next one is... No, you did a uh, paint it forward. Curtain call. Yeah, I just kind of was you know, going some randomly. So we have the curtain call for dancers. That's Friday, May that 8th. Is, yep, that's this guy. You can see it. Curtain call is this one for anybody that's a dancer or ballerina. And they can customize, of course, if they don't want black curtains, they can do blue curtains, whatever they like. Right. And then that Saturday is... Wesley's Ninja Night. Wesley's Ninja Night. <laughs> He's waiting there in the wings. He's waiting in the wings. Patiently waiting there in the wings. Um, now that's Sunday at 7 o'clock. There's another painted forward. That's MS Moonlight Tree. Yes. So this is, so for Mother's Day, join us in the fight for MS. So a very good friend of mine, Cheryl, is um, an ambassador with the MS Society. And every year we do a painting event for her as a fundraiser. And of course, we are, have been unable to do that this year. So we are dedicating this painting to the MS Society. So any donations we're asking you to send right directly to them. So there's no sign in coming to me. It's going to go right to her. Um, so this is at 7 o'clock. We'll be doing here. And then, got then we've got the uh, Wednesday. That following Wednesday, May 13th, is like the purple scroll tree. Kaylee and my birthday painting. We're doing this. That's everybody it. Everybody like the scroll tree. We did the purple one with the moon. Yep, when is you and Kaylee's birthday? Kaylee is the 13th. I'm the 14th. Wait, somebody's on the same day as you. Yeah, I have. I think I have those written down upstairs, too. Yes. 
We have a couple of people like right around the same time. Okay. Mary Kate is good now. All okay. right. So let's continue on. Okay. All right. So with our black, so we're going to keep that same little brush. Yes. With the black. A little bit of paint at a time. We did our kind of our little smile at the top of our lighthouse. Okay. Just overhanging a little bit. And we're going to give it a rectangle. So we're going to do a straight line on the left side, a straight line up on the right side. This could be about an inch to an inch and a half big. Is it Angel that's born on the same day as you? I think you're right. I think it was Angel. Okay. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Almost done, buddy. And I'm going to kind of give that a curved line as well to cross out the top or close off the top. Oops. Oops. Caitlin Quinones says, thank you. My daughter, Abigail, six, had a great time. We will watch the rest tomorrow night. Okay, good night, sweetie. Have a good night. Good night, thank Abigail. <laughs> All right, so we're kind of giving, so we have like a sort of a curved rectangle there. Okay. Again, I'm kind of coming down about maybe a quarter of an inch. <laughs> Do another little curved line. Yeah, let them get a good look at that. This one's really straight, so if you have a regular rectangle, straight rectangle, that's fine too. Okay, some people are saying, did we just lose the broadcast? No, oh, you didn't. No. Under the weather. That syringe is a little dumpster. I know. Somebody has to fix that. Dumped <laughs> up, yes. Yeah. All right, so we have the rectangle. We have our smile, like our smiley face here. I kind of filled that in a little bit. Uh huh. Our rectangle, close off the top with a slightly curved line. We kind of came down about a quarter of an inch and gave another little line across. Okay. And then I'm just going to do a couple straight lines down. Three, four of them, depending on where they are. Now, if you don't have yellow in here already, yeah. you can always go back in with your yellow and white and fill those areas in with the yellow and white. I'm going to leave mine like that. We're going to rinse and dry. And then we just need a triangle, a little triangle on the top. Like an ice cream cone. Kind of, upside, upside down. down. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna use that light gray color that we used for in here. So just a little triangle on top to finish off our lighthouse here. All the way up here. You using your pinky to stabilize your hand? Yep, using that pencil grip, pinky to stabilize. Mm. So I have a little control. And fill that little triangle shaped in up here. Very good. All right, while I have that white, I'm actually going to grab just a little bit of that gray rock color that we used uh -huh. down here. A little bit of that just for those little lines on the left side. Are you curving those lines? Little curved lines, yep. Little curved lines on the left side for our shadow on that side. And then you can rinse and dry that brush. So you just used the gray color that you used to fill in the lighthouse from the rocks, the light color, to make the to make the top. Right. I just used this gray color, that light gray color. Right. To make to the, the top, top. And then I used the darker gray color. To put that uh, shadow. Okay. Yep. We're gonna do our sun next. Okay. We have to put our sun over here. So we're gonna grab a little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of white again. If you don't have it mixed already, you can mix more. Just a little bit. A little bit. You don't need much. 
a little yellow, a little white. And if it's too yellow and you need to add some red to make it a little bit orange, you could do that too. Okay. So again, using my pencil grip, pinky to stabilize. We're just going to do a half circle over here. Right above our water, where our water is. And we're going to fill that in. may be kind of tough to see. Yeah, because I can't see. <laughs> if it's too tough to see, then you can grab that, make a little orange color. So you're just gonna add a little bit of red to that. And it will make that orange, how's that? Okay. Now you can see that? Yeah, I can see it now. There we go. I'm going to go back to that orange color. So if you don't have orange already, a little yellow, a tiny bit of red. Yellow, tiny bit of red. We just want to kind of outline that with a little bit of a darker color if I can. That's what you did, you made it darker. Yep, I just made that orange a little darker. I'm just outlining my sun a little bit of a darker color there. Oh, okay. And then I wanna put some of this orange color in our water as kind of like reflections. So light pressure, really light pressure I'm just going to want to throw some of these little streaks of orange, again, using horizontal strokes, little horizontal lines in your water. So we did that with the orange color. So we did our sun with a light orange or yellow depending on how your sky looks over here. Mm -hmm. Light orange or yellow in here. We outlined in a light in a slightly darker orange color. And then I added a couple little lines of orange in our water. Mm -hmm. And then you can add a couple of yellow, some streaks of yellow in your water as well. Light strokes, left and right. But you went from the sun. Yep. I'm going to do them all over, but. Oh, okay. I'm more, probably more concentrated right under the sun where it's a little brighter. Right. And a few more out here, wherever you want them in your water. Light pressure, little strokes. So we did the sun, our orange outline, orange strokes, little yellow strokes, a little bit more yellow under the sun. And we're gonna do the same with white. So a little bit of white. Again, probably concentrating under the sun a little more. It's a little brighter right there in the ocean. And then you can put a couple more little strokes in here. Light pressure. Very light pressure. Little horizontal lines in there. Like little reflections and all the ripples of the water. And we'll rinse and dry that brush. We have two things we have left to do. It's just outlining our lighthouse and then getting your water line. So we're gonna go to the water line. Okay. I'm gonna switch to back to our big brush. You want to make sure this brush is rinsed and dried really good. And then I like to say fluff the brush. So I kind of like brushed against my hand so that my bristles are a little bit fluffy and sort of messed up and not real nice and neat. Okay. Okay. So you're going to want to you're gonna wanna lightly tap my white paint. I just want a little bit of white paint on the end of all my bristles. Just lightly tap? Yep. Lightly tap my paint. And then where our water meets our sand, we're going to go over this entire area. So you're just tapping the canvas with this white paint. Okay. It's called stippling. So a little at a time. 
You're just tapping the canvas. Can you do that a little slower? <laughs> yep. So, a little bit of white paint on your bristles at a time. Yeah. And then you're just tapping your canvas with like your bristles. Like you're poking it? Poking the canvas, yeah. But that's called stippling. It's called stippling, right. Okay, I see. You're just poking it yep, so lightly and putting those little bristles on the right. edge. Yep. So it's just tapping the paint on your canvas. You can make your waves or your kind of your shoreline as thick as you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Or as thin. You just kind of want to cover that edge between your sand and your water. So the water is kind of rushing on the shore. Okay. Stippling. So it's called stippling, yep. Yeah. I used to do this technique, but with an ink pen, so that we were you were unable to draw, to actually draw a line. You had to create an entire picture with just dots. Stippling? stippling. Yep. Pretty neat. PJ says, thank you. You're Emerson welcome. had a great time. We'll Aww. send you a picture. Yay. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Make sure you uh, sign your painting, send us a photo. We appreciate it. So, yep, we're just going along this shoreline. Again, you can kind of come in as far as you want into the water. You want to give that like a little wave in there. Right, a little foam. Yep, well, you can do some little waves in here, kind of like crests. Some white caps. You can throw some in your water down here. But yeah, the point is you just want to kind of combine those, that sand and, or that shoreline there where your water meets your sand. Okay, Kathy says, can you show what you put at the very top of the lighthouse? At the very top of the lighthouse, I just used my small brush. So, um, after I did this, so this is the rectangle. So, I did a smile. Under with, the bottom. With the black. A curved bottom. Yep. So, a little smile with the black. So, it's a little curved rectangle. Mm -hmm. I covered it in, kind of went straight across, filled that in, and then made a little rectangle. This is about an inch high, maybe inch and a half. Okay. And then another little line across. And then a few little, like, windows here. So one, two, three, four lines down, depending on how wide you want them. Okay. And then rinse and dry. And then I went back to this gray color that we used. To fill in the lighthouse. And then, yep. So this gray color here, we went back on top and just did a little triangle, triangle on top. And then I grabbed this color this darker gray color that we used for our rocks, and I put in our shadow here. And if you don't have any more, then you just take some white with a little, a little bit of black, yep. and you um you just mix it, it back up. You just want that side a little darker than the rest of it, that's all. All right, and that's okay. the top. Yep. So we got our crest here. I'm gonna come up against um, our rocks too, just to kind of Mesh those areas so you don't have a harsh line right there. Okay, so you're stippling on the rocks. Yep, just where if my rocks kind of overlap my the water. water. Okay. Yep. And then you can rinse and dry this big brush. Now, this is where if you have that smaller brush for mm. outlining, yeah, you're going to switch to that smaller brush. Okay. Okay, the smaller the brush you have, the thinner the lines you'll get when you're outlining. So you're going to rinse and dry. And this is where you'll also rinse and dry often. So after every couple of lines, you're going to rinse it, dry it, and get it back to a point. Okay. So my one of my younger students calls it the ballerina brush. So she kind of twists it back to a point. So a little bit of paint at a time on the tip of your brush. Uh -huh. You'll get nice thin lines. Light pressure. The lighter the pressure, the thinner your, thinner your lines. The more pressure you push. Thicker? The thicker the lines because your bristles will spread out. Okay. So I'm using again, I'm going to use that pencil grip, pinky stabilizer, and we're going to outline the rest of our lighthouse. So pinky to stabilize, pencil grip, and just going around. Around the outside of the, the outside lighthouse. Outside of our lighthouse. Slowly. So again, after every couple of lines, your paint will start to build up. And you'll want to rinse and dry. Rinse, 
and dry. Okay. Sometimes you could twirl it on your bra on your paper towel to get it back to that point. A little bit of paint again. Pinky, stabilize. Come up here, hit this part. Oh, when you're outlining it, you want you can make it as thick or as thin as you like, yeah, what, man, whatever makes it you comfortable. Yeah. This is sort of where you'll hide all those little imperfections. Like, if I have like little, I call them like little flyaways, little tiny brush strokes that kind of sneak out like over here, and you can sort of cover that up with your outline now. Okay. You know how your hair has like like now all the little flyaways? Today was bad hair day, so it just went up. <laughs> oh. Rinse and dry. We're back to a point. Again, I'm working on an angle. <laughs> this looks great from this side, but when I go around this side, it looks like it's tilting. <laughs> yeah, but they understand because they want they want to they want to hear you, and you have to turn sideways just to get your voice to. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, Chris and Christy Catalano says, "Are you using black or gray?" Black. So it went right to black for outlining. Okay, you're outlining with black. Yep. Okay. I'm just doing these couple of rocks that the um, that the lighthouse sits behind. On top of. Yeah. Okay. And then if you want to add a couple of little windows in your lighthouse, tiny little, tiny little rectangles in there, wherever you want them. In the light part. Oh, no, you put wherever. one in the red part. Okay. Yeah, wherever. I don't know if there's like a set thing of where they're supposed to be. Right. Or maybe how many floors. Yeah. I have no idea. And I'll put a little door down here, the lower section. Again, just a little rectangle down there. Okay. Now you can paint whatever kind of saying you want on it, if you have room for a saying. I'll, let me do that. I'm going to go on this side and do this one. Okay. You're going to so, paint a saying? So my friend, I think it was John, said, that said, um, one day at a time. Okay. And I think that is a pretty good saying for right now. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of do it in a darker orange color. Okay. Aileen Pace says, thank you. This was fun. You're welcome, Aileen. Thank you so much for painting. I hope I'm us. saying her name right. Aileen. Because <laughs> it's A-I-L-L-E-E-N. I met one Aileen in my life. And I was like, Aileen? No, no, not Aileen. Aileen. I said, okay, Aileen. Now, if somebody's not as... Uh, um, confident that they can write like that. They need to use a a, a, a marker or a pencil. Yeah, pencil. Write it in pencil first. Right, and then paint over it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Eileen says it's Eileen. Okay. Oh, there you go. All right. I, feel like did this the other day too. <laughs> I think I did too. Yeah. As I see the letter A, and I'm like, okay, wait a minute. The person that I knew whose name was Aileen, they got upset if you said Aileen. Oh, yeah. yeah, time. That's all right. Okay, but it's still good. You can read it. phrase you want on yours you can leave it the way it is you can have somebody letter it for you with a cricket machine I know that's like really popular 
And before you're done, the, at the very end, we want you to sign your painting. So make sure you throw your initials on there, the year. I usually go the bottom right or bottom left. And the year. And then you are done. They're not done. And then you need to send them to us. <laughs> And then we would love for you, honestly, please send us your paintings. We love seeing them and getting them. You want the paintings or you want pictures of the oh, paintings? I want pictures of the paintings. All right, nothing so technical, Mark. No, because that's what they'll do. They'll send the painting. <laughs> and you'll be like, where are all these paintings coming from? <laughs> we have enough paintings. We don't need anything. Then again, then again, nope, then again, they're not parting with their paintings. They just created something. Why would they want to give, give it to you? So, yes, please send us photos of your painting or you with your painting. We would love to see you with your painting. Um, it's always neat, especially family time, if there's multiple of you doing this together. I love getting pictures of families that are doing this together. One of the things I always say is, um, my purpose, like people are like, what's the meaning of life? And for me, it is creating a memory. It is creating a good feeling for people and however that comes about, it's just, you know, what makes me happy is making other people happy. Um, She's good at it. So please, if you would, send us your paintings. We will put them together in a montage. I'll put them um, in a photo album so that you guys can all go back to see everybody's paintings um, at the end. We love seeing where you're from. If you want to put, like, on your photo... You know, you're from Kentucky or you're from Canada. We love seeing that. It's so neat. So many people did that yesterday for me, and I'm excited to share those. But we're going to give people a few more days, and then I'll put that montage together. Uh -huh. um, again, we're painting just for tips, so um, gratuities are accepted. Not, you know, it's not expected, but we appreciate them. I will put up a Venmo PayPal thing for us um, at the end. And you let us know if you have any questions or concerns or comments. And we love them. Thank you guys so much for being with us yes. today. Yes. And uh, for those of you that that came in late, uh, the video will be up as soon as we as soon as we shut this down, so you'll yes. be able to paint whenever you like. Yes, absolutely. All right. Janice says thank you so much. You're Felt productive you. for once. <laughs> Maja says thank you for a great evening. This was fun. You're welcome. Okay. Katie says thank you. Will take some time for me to finish. It's okay. Had to have dinner halfway through. Can't wait until next time. <laughs> Next time is tomorrow. Yeah, we're we're going to be here all rest of this week until Sunday. Order your supplies. That's what I keep telling people is order supplies. If you enjoy doing this and it takes you away from the mundane, the everyday stuff, the everything that's going out there, if this is something that you enjoy, order more supplies. We're going to keep doing this, I'm sure, into June. We are. I have events scheduled into May, the end of May. So we'll keep Yeah, not until she can go back out on the road. You when know, I get back out, I still think that... Still want to do, do this. like this? We'll do this at least once a month, I think. This is this is good for me. <laughs> this is yeah, this is fun. <laughs> it's good for me, and, you know, it's nice to connect with so many of you. We appreciate you sharing your events, or sharing our events, and sharing your pictures. If you share your pictures on, on your Facebook page, tag us. Tag Mimosas and Masterpieces. If I see it, I can at least comment on it. Um, we love that. We love getting new visitors and first timers, and but we love seeing you guys come back to us. We love knowing your names. I love that I know, you know, Sarah Sparrow is in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and I love, <laughs> <laughs> and I love that my Kaylee is in Canada. You know, um, I feel like I've gained friends doing this. So thank you guys so much to uh, for continuing to do this with us. Yes, and, and please um, go to the those who are interested in the Harry Potter theme. Um, please look at the pictures and scroll down until you find the Harry Potter we stuff and you see it. The Hedgewick Owl is what we did. So I can, uh, I'm sure we can make that happen again. They can find the pictures <laughs> right on your page here. Yes. Yeah, it's up there. There's tons of photo albums. Every event that we do that is not a private event, like we, I mean, I've done some that people don't want any photos taken. But um, almost every event that we've done has photos. I take pictures throughout the whole thing. And we put them up on our Facebook page. Um, the website is not quite as up to date. We're getting there. The website does, however, have um, supply links to Amazon for stuff. If you order through Amazon, just watch shipping time. Sometimes it's available, sometimes it's not. Something can ship in two days, something can ship in three weeks. So, 
Yeah, just keep an eye on that stuff. It's terrible. Sorry, I don't have any, like, I don't have a reliable source <laughs> for any of this. Now, Sandy Mountney says, I am so untalented. My daughter is very oh. talented. Skip the generation. <laughs> now, see, now, I want to see that picture. <laughs> it's okay. It's yeah, okay. it's probably beautiful. You know, nobody in my family really, I don't think, has this, like, does this. Mm -hmm. I think my one aunt, Aunt Donna, was, oh, was kind of good at art, but... I've always been doing this as a kid. I enjoy it. Always love doing it. It comes in waves, and we're we're on the high of the wave right now. We're just gonna keep. What is that called? Go rolling through the tide. I don't even know what that's called. Okay. <laughs> we're just gonna keep going. We enjoy it though. So thank you guys so much again. Yes. You guys have a great night. Okay. We'll, we'll be back you. here tomorrow in 24, 23 we'll hours. We'll be right back. <laughs> have a great night, guys. Good night.